How do you do? My name's Graham Murphy. I'm a product manager here at Tech Rentals. Today we're going to look at the um, Fluke 1738 software and how to produce a report. Okay, I've taken a Fluke 1738, I've hit stop, I've plugged in the USB memory stick. Um, the memory stick uh, then on the menu pops up, I've then hit copy to USB memory stick and I've copied the data on the, the memory stick uh, from the logger to the memory stick. So now I'm going to um, well, prior, just prior to that, I'll just go to settings and set the preferences and set up the color scheme, red, yellow, blue, and phase A, B, C is a little better. So that'll set the colors for the graph. So now I'll plug my memory stick in. Now, I now file open and it's, um, here's the memory stick, uh, removable drive. 1738 here was a, um, a directory that I the, this is the serial number of the log that we did the analysis with bring up a session and this is the session we're going to open up so I click open that and ask me where I'm going to store the data on the PC it's here so I click save now just a little bit about the structure of this is the fact that these are different menus here now when we open this up then we have different graphs etc now I'm just going to go to project manager initially and under settings I want to set the cost of the energy so our cost here is uh, it's 20.11 20 20.11 cents and okay oops hang on our cost here one one at a new ratio and it's um, off peak it's um, 0.119 and that's from uh, 11 p.m. through to 7 a.m. okay now I'll set the client up to tech, tech rentals um, Melbourne uh, main board uh, main board measurements so there we go now what it's done is the fact that it's created here's a summary information and is our main board measurement this is just about the particular device start stop times etc now to add those things if we come over to the report now I can drag that and put that they, these now items now are on the report now if I expand them these are the things that exist on the report so let's have a look we come project manager now I'm going to have a look at the energy study now in this case I'm going to RMS power pretty simple let's have a look how we manage the graph now at any stage we can zoom in on a part like this now to get back again right click auto scale auto scale X and Y takes us back to here um, we can set the working hours so I might want to say okay this is the bit I actually am, I'm interested in graphing and I want to highlight to the client so now I'm going to add that as a bookmark now that will now put that over here now we can if we want to when um, just I'll just rename it this is um, RMS power graph um, detail oops and I hit that but there detail okay now I drag that onto here so now I've got that in my report so here's my energy study so we've got a lot of flexibility here we can we can select different I'll just right click auto scale X and Y I can turn around and pick A B and C phases if I want separate images there I could pick um, you know yeah, there's almost uh, here's our daily um, there we go this information that's been resolved to one hour and I'll right click and I'll just auto scale that um, oh, here we are one hour there we go so we can it's it's got there is a hell of a lot of flexibility here uh, and I'll put that back out there right click auto scale back now I'll come over here Add a little bit more to the graph where we could be adding in any one of these 
things here. Now you've got to remember that this minus there, and have a look at the main board measurements here. During the period we used $2,533 worth of um, power. So I'm going to add that as a bookmark to the thing. So uh, now study, let's have a look. Okay, there's harmonics, events. Now if I want to see the event, I can mm, there, here, hit plus. Now here's the event, so I'm going to add that as a bookmark. Again, you can rename any of these. Under Advanced, we can click on Configure, and we can here is just whatever we want to graph. Now, there's just so many things. So we can uh, plot anything here from um, hourly to daily to weekly uh, to actually individual samples, etc. So having now produced this report, so we're happy, I'll add those um, and I'll put that demand overview, I'll put it over here, but I'll, I'll put move it up to the top here. Oops, demand overview, um, I thought that would be plus, there we go, there we go, drag them down under, oh it's main board, that's better with the demand overview. Now what I'm going to do is export the report now have a look at what the result is. So we hit export, creates a PDF. So this is uh, results, um, test results. Save. And here we have the, um, we scroll through, here is information about the logger. Here's, um, more information about the logger. Here's the results of the period in the period, um, uh, and the various graphs, etc. So it's pretty simple. Now, if you get a, you can import that then into a, as a Word document and change anything you need to, um, or add extra information. Now, because um, if you click, uh, there's a couple of if you need to convert this. To Word, uh, you can also take this image off and add your own image up the top here. Just point out where that occurs. If you view um, under where is it again? I can back over here. Project settings, report logo. Now you can select a logo. I don't happen to have one, but you could use something instead of the fluke one, etc. So you can produce quite a nice report. Um, there it is. If you end up with a PDF and you want to add extra text to it or edit it, it's uh, relevant programs that will convert this from the PDF format to something you can actually edit in Microsoft Word. So that's that's what you'd do if you want to then do some um, uh, editing of this. So it's all pretty simple to produce a report. Thank you very much.